Hello again everyone, this is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the NautilusDrydocks.com and we're going to have a little bit of a how-to session today. Uh, a real quick one and it's a common topic, how do I make high quality seals for my RC submarine? How do I keep the water out of the watertight cylinder when I have to have linkages uh, that pass through that bulkhead. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm not talking about the, the cheap chintzy uh, like silicone tubing and grease method. These are uh, high quality cup seals that should be good to uh, significant depth. So I'm going to show you how you can build these yourself uh, for cheap. Let's take a look. All right, here is a uh a grouping of uh, everything that you are going to need. And I've got things listed out here. We need some brass tubing. Uh, you can get these from uh, hobby shops. You can get them online. Two sizes. Uh, we're going to be talking about 1 8 inch shaft seals and 3 16 inch shaft seals. Uh, 3 16 commonly used for drive shafts for your motor uh, and 1 8 for your linkages. So what you're going to want to do is uh, cut up that tubing into uh, about 12 millimeter long sections for both sizes. And I've gone ahead and done that using the cutoff wheel of my rotary tool. So that's our brass tubing. Uh, 930 seconds of an inch OD for the 1/8 and 1130 seconds for the 3 16 The other thing that you're going to want to get is a bushing of some kind and I use oil light bushings. This is uh, oil impregnated uh, bushings. I got 1 8 inch size and 3 16 inch size right there. And the last thing is uh, cup seals. These are um, Duro black cup seals. Uh, and I don't know if you can see them there, if this will focus on it. Uh, but the way these work basically, uh, it forms a, a C like this. Uh, with the outside water pressure trying to push in here. So the harder it pushes, the tighter it seals. Very cool, nice low friction. Uh, this is where I get mine from. Precision Associates out of uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, if you want to grab them yourself, that is where you're gonna get them. Uh, and the last thing, I got a couple toothpicks and some uh, gasket maker, some RTV silicone here. So let's go into how we put these together. All right, let's, uh, hey, let's make up a 1 8 inch seal here just for show. I'm going to grab one of the uh, bushings. I'm going to insert it into the back of that tubing. I am going to just put a drop of CA glue, thin CA glue in there to hold it in place. So you can see I've got like a little lip inside there. And that's where the seal is going to sit. Uh, and for these 1 8 uh, seals, it's actually quite a, a tight friction fit. Um, so you can just push these right in like this. and they seat nice and tight. Now if it's a little bit loose, for whatever reason, uh, you can just put a really thin skim, just a little tiny bit of that RTV around the perimeter, push it in, and that will lock it in place. Now if you don't, uh, the advantage is you can just pop that out if it, for whatever reason, ends up letting go on you. And uh, you can just replace the, the seal rather than the entire uh, body. So this is a 1 8 inch shaft. Just goes in from the back there, give it a little push. And there we go. We've got a uh, nice tight seal that's really free moving. Just for fun, let's, uh, let's do that, that RTV on there. I'm just going to get just a little bit on the end of my toothpick, a really little bit and just put a little smear around the perimeter making sure that it goes all the way around. Push in the seal 
and seat it all the way down to the bottom. That's it. Done. Let it, uh, let it set, let it cure. And this is a completed uh, 1 8 inch seal uh, all ready to go. The procedure for the 3 16 is very much the same. The, the um, bushings that I've got for that, however, have a flange on the back, which is certainly not a big deal. Uh, we're just going to push that in place, give it a drop of CA glue, and same deal. We're just going to take a little bit of the uh, RTV and get a little more than that. Go around the perimeter, the inside there. Take our 3 16 inch seal, put it in place, and push it down. So that is all done. <laughs> like I said, you know, once you've got this cutting done, you can put seals together in a matter of minutes. And uh, extremely high quality seals, they work really, really good. Well, there we go. In a matter of minutes, I've put together, uh, how many do I have here? Seven um, 1 8 inch seals and five of the 3 16 inch seals. Um, you know, the cost may be three bucks uh, a piece versus buying these for like eight or ten dollars uh, a piece. And uh, you can make as many as you want. You can customize them. Um, one thing I will say, when you go to install these, I recommend you just rough up the outside edge with a little bit of sandpaper uh, or the sanding drum of a, of a Dremel and that'll give your RTV uh, some bite when you go to insert it into the wall of your watertight cylinder. So here we go, handful of seals, quick tutorial, how to make them yourself. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, shoot me an email anytime, bob at rc-sub.com. Again, this is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus, drydocks.com. Thanks for joining me. Catch you next time.